Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I have a fun and, um, well not really different, I do videos like this um, somewhat frequently, um, but something a little fun and kind of unexpected. Um, so, I have a video today. <laughs> uh, first off, I'm wearing one of my new wrap dresses. This is the M7745 maybe? I'll leave it, it'll be linked. Every time I, whatever I'm wearing that day is always linked down below, if you ever are curious. And now I'm just opening up my laptop here because, okay. <laughs> because, all right, so if you follow, um, well, I think everyone pretty much, if you've watched this channel at all, are you joining me now? I think she's been really hot. The dog's been really hot, so she's been sleeping on the, she hasn't been wanting to sit, oh, sorry with me next to me. She's been wanting to sleep on the laminate flooring because it's cooler. <laughs> okay, so um, if you've been watching the channel, you know, any length of time at all, you know that I'm a huge fan of Love Notions patterns. Um, I also have an affiliate link associated with them. Um, so actually all the patterns that I'll have listed down below are affiliate links, which means if you do buy something from that link, I do get a commission off of that. Just so transparency, just so very clear. <laughs> I just want to let you all know. But they are one of my favorite pattern companies and they're having one of their biannual 40% off sales right now, which is 40% off every single pattern um, in their collection with the exception of the Rhapsody because the Rhapsody um, just had its own sale. Um, they re-released that into the new size range and um, it, that sale just ended. So every other pattern except for the Rhapsody is currently on sale for 40% off. So I thought today, um, I also have a giveaway for you guys. So Love Notions reached out to me, wanted to know if I'd be interested in uh, giving away one of their patterns, which of course I'm like, yes. <laughs> So um, I will talk more about how you enter that giveaway at the end of the video. It's very simple. Very, very simple. So I thought it would be fun today because we're in the um, buy, I think they do it twice a year, 40% off uh, sale, that it might be kind of fun to look at some ready-to-wear inspiration. And um, then I paired that with Love Notions patterns that um, I own. I've not made all of these yet, but I do own all the ones that I am talking about today. Um, I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> so anyway... Okay, so I have gone through some of my favorite. I've pulled none of these images off of Pinterest. All of these images have been pulled off of new arrivals um, on uh, clothing st websites that I like to follow. I don't buy a lot of ready-to-wear clothing anymore, but these are ones that um, are kind of my style and places I used to shop when I was shopping. And um, yeah, these are just some, some where I find inspiration, I guess. Some of the ready-to-wear things that I find um, very inspiring. Okay, so... All of these images, though, can be pulled off my Pinterest board. So I put them all on the Pinterest board. That will be linked below if you want to get to the original source of all of these. And again, they should all be available because I they're all new arrivals on the um, websites where I pulled them. Okay, if you're watching this, as I'm filming, obviously. <laughs> if you're watching this two years from now, <laughs> then that might, might not be the case. But anyway. All right, so the first outfit. This is a dress from Bowden. You guys know that I love Bowden, and I love this dress. Now, it's a pretty simple fit and flare type of dress. Obviously, what's amazing about this is the stripe, which how easy would it be to change up the stripe um, of your fabric? Now, I would use a knit for this. In fact, I think it's a knit. It is. It's a sweater dress, but... Um, What's nice, because typically on knit fabrics, you've got the stretch that go in one direction. So whatever direction the stripe is going, I would use that on the bodice, you know, to go stretchy across the bodice. But then once you hit the skirt, you can do whatever orientation you want, really, because um, you don't have to have the stretch for a full skirt, which it would be ideal if you had a horizontally striped fabric, because then it could be horizontal um, across the stretch because it, the skirt on this is a circle skirt and so having a horizontal stripe on a circle skirt gets really wonky because the circle of the skirt you get your stripes look like they're um, bowed. So doing the stripes vertically though you wouldn't have that issue. Um, anyway so I think this and actually a lot of these I think really come down to, fab to fabrication and I, I'm clearly very drawn to the bold and bright right now so you're going to see a theme form. But as far as patterns for this, I have married these two patterns before. They were drafted to be married together, um, but it is the Tessa sheath dress, and this has a few different um, variations. Mostly it's got a scoop neck variation, and it also can come with a sleeve or without a sleeve um, to 
match the inspiration dress, I would do it sleeveless, but with the scoop neck. Um, anyway, there is a cut line on that pattern where you can cut your bodice and then, um, or not cut, you could use that line and then put the Sybil skirt, the Sybil illusion skirt, um, up on that pattern piece and then cut it out as either a top and a bottom or um, you could eliminate the seam allowances and cut them out all as one if you wanted um, with some of the skirts that probably wouldn't work with all of the sk skirt variations but I would definitely put the sleeveless scoop neck of the Tessa sheath with the uh, flared skirt of the Sybil and that is exactly the combination that I did for my daughter's well I had a sleeve on my daughter's but the dress that I made for her that she drew up and it worked really really well so I've made that for her a couple of times both her wearable muslin and then the final dress um, obviously with the sleeve on hers but you could definitely do that sleeveless because there is the option here anyway love this okay Number two, oops, I have 12 looks here for you. Okay, number two, this is also a Bowden. I'm pretty sure. I was looking at a whole bunch of different websites. I'm pretty sure this is also a Bowden. I'm pretty sure. Um, but this is just your standard, it's either Bowden or J. Crew. I think it's Bowden though. Um, again, you can go to the Pinterest board and it'll take you directly there. But I love this. Uh, it's a tunic pullover dress basically and they've made theirs up in linen also if you've been watching the channel recently you know I'm having an extreme love affair with linen right now um, but I love a tunic that's lengthened into a dress you can add a little bit more width at the hip to make it a little bit more a-lined if you want um, and definitely throw on a uh, fabric belt or just a belt that you love that's in your current closet but the pattern I picked for this is the presto tunic from Love Notions. Um, I would also like to say that most of Love Notions patterns all have the full bust fronts. So if you do have a fuller bust, you can do the um, basically cup size, and some of them actually have cup sizes, but if not cup sizes, you know, if it's a looser garment like a tunic, they do have just the full bust front, which is extremely helpful if you've got, um, if you're larger in the chest area. But I think just uh, lengthening, lengthening this tunic, and actually, if I'm looking at the line art, they do have a pattern piece for the belt. So I think just lengthening this from a tunic into a dress um, would be very easy to do. The tunic already has to be able to go over your hips anyway, because most tunics hit about high thigh, you know, like right at your crease usually, um, where your leg creases, um, attaches to your body. Uh, so it would be just a matter of lengthening this out um, to above the knee or to the knee, and you could have an adorable little uh, tunic dress and... Yeah, you could definitely put, they've got the sleeve options here, which would make it very, very easy to do that as well. In fact, they have four sleeve options listed here. Yeah, and dart shaping. I mean, it would just be perfect. And in a linen, oh, how could you go wrong for summer? Okay, look number three. Okay, this is from Cezanne. This is a, Cezanne is a um, French, um, um, uh, a French shop. <laughs> they're a French designer. They do ready to wear clothing. Uh, I'd say they're comparable price points to J. Crew, maybe a little bit more expensive. Um, but I've pulled two dresses that I think um, from two different sites that I think are perfect for the pattern I'm going to give you. So this one is one, and it kind of has a 90s flare a little bit, but it's got, um, it does not have a collar. It's kind of got a V front, but it's buttons down the front, and it's got a little, um, a shorter sleeve. It looks like probably mid arm, which actually is not a good sleeve length on me, but you know, you could shorten it or lengthen that sleeve if you wanted to. It has definitely a little bit of a 90s flare with that. Um, you know kind of body skimming button down the front dress which I actually really love I wore those in the 90s so that was the first dress and then the second dress is this one by Bowden that is very similar except it is a longer skirt it hits um, a little more is the other one midi I guess they're both midi this one the Bowden one though almost is almost maxi um, I actually don't wear maxi dresses I find that they dwarf me a little bit but obviously you can play with the skirt length however you want. It's the beauty of making your own clothes. But this one from Bowden also has buttons. And I can't tell, the, the fabric's really busy, if it's buttons just on the bodice or if the buttons go all the way down. I personally would take the buttons all the way down just because I think that looks really nice. Um, and then this one is obviously sleeveless. So the dress that I've picked that you can kind of recreate with both of these, again, you just need a really fun fabric, um, of which there are tons out there right now, the big and the bold. But I've picked the Lyric dress. 
and um, I own this one and I really am anxious to sew this one up. Now this one does have a waist seam, which I'm not sure that the, that the Cezanne one does. I think the Bowden one does, um, but you know, I think if you omit the pockets, it's gonna kind of blend in anyway. Everyone that I've seen make this dress looks stunning in it. It's a very flattering, flattering dress. And it has uh, five sleeve styles, so it's got a flutter sleeve, it comes sleeveless, you can do a bishop sleeve, you can do a short sleeve, you can do kind of a trumpet, or a, like a fitted sleeve that then has the little flare at the bottom. There's many, many options, but I just think that this is just fantastic. And I don't know if it, I'm not sure, it also you can make it as a peplum as well, if you don't want to make it as a dress. Um, and I think, oh no, it has a midi length. So three, the pattern has a peplum, a knee length, and a midi length, so it'd be very easy. You wouldn't even have to lengthen the pattern unless you wanted to make it maxi and you could take it to the floor. Um, I'm sure this has cup sizes. I just, I don't know if it's got cup sizes or just a full bust front. Um, you know, regular bust front or full bust front. All right. That's going to be probably the first one I make. I've really been wanting to make that lyric dress for a while. Oopsie. Sorry, I should use the mouse, not my big old finger. All right, look number four. This is from um, Everlane, which is a kind of a minimalist classic website. Um, I really like, I kind of um, gravitate towards that a little bit. Almost, I mean, they hardly have any print whatsoever on their um, channel. Most of it is very um, basic stuff, but with some neat twists. And I love this dress that this gal has on. I think that it's flattering. I think it would be super easy to throw on during the summer. Um, I mean, you could make this in a whole bunch of, you could make it in a print if you wanted to, you could color block it, whatever, or you could keep it very simple the way that this gal is wearing it here. And the pattern I picked for this one is pretty much dead on, and it is the um, Tidal uh, Tank and Top, and I definitely, the longer dress. Now this is a maxi, I think that I would, probably, is, it comes in a top, a knee length, and a maxi length. I mean, you could obviously go in between the knee length and the maxi length and create a midi length if you want, which is what this gal has. But I think I would just keep it at maybe um, a knee length and go from there. Um, it has a sleeve on this pattern, but you could also do it sleeveless like the gal has. But I think in a solid color, how could you not wear that dress all summer long, <laughs> pairing it with different, you know, wraps, jackets, that kind of thing. Um, you know, if you needed them for air conditioning or if the nights got a little bit cooler, wherever you are. Like, I feel like this, I mean, especially done in a neutral, it could become like your little black dress or whatever that is for you. Little chocolate brown dress, little navy dress, whatever that is. Um, but your summer version, very easily. I just thought that was so easy but chic and flattering at the same time. And everyone I've seen that title dress on has also been extremely flattering because of the princess line seams that are there. All right, next up is another one from Everlane. Uh, is this Everlane? Or is this Madewell? I think this is Everlane as well. Um, and it's this uh, beautiful linen top that is just um, a dolman sleeve, kind of boxy, tucked into a pair of elastic waist pants. Um, I'm getting ready to talk a lot about some of the pants that I really love of Love Notions, but um, I just picked the top for this one, and I picked the Melody Dolman for this because it is pretty much spot on. The only difference between this top and between the Melody Dolman is the shape of the hemline. Um, the Melody has a shaped hemline, and this one is a, um, a boxier, just a cuts. Um, a straighter hemline, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say, uh, which would be a very easy thing to do. You could just cut the hem straight across if you wanted to. You could put on a thick facing at the bottom to kind of make it hang really well, but I think it would be gorgeous in a solid um, linen, just nice and crisp. You could tuck it into things, you could leave it out, um, you know, just kind of however you were feeling for that, but I thought that those were spot on, right, um, right on the money on that one. All right, this is look six, and this is another dress from Cezanne. And uh, this one is actually a woven dress. I love the print on this, and you're gonna see this print show up uh, one more time. Um, clearly they, they're minimalist as well, but they do use print. It's just you see the same print in a lot of different um, fabrications and a lot of different garments, you know, you'll find pants and a heavier weight of that print. This dress obviously is probably, I would guess, in like a cotton lawn or a cotton voile or maybe a rayon, uh, maybe silk. 
but I am, it is in a woven. However, I think this is so, would be so comfortable for summer. It's got kind of an ampere waist, but it's almost, um, you know, it's got the, the plunge, so it almost has like the V that's underneath the chest. And this matches perfectly with the Forte dress and top um, that I have up here. Now, the Forte is meant for knits, which I think would actually be easier to sew and be a little bit more comfortable to wear. I would definitely use a drapier knit, like a bamboo or a rayon, but again, there's so many cool prints that are out there. I think that you would wear this all summer long. It would be such an easy dress just to throw on. They have the different sleeve lengths. Um, I think the View B and D dress is kind of right on the money for that dress. I'm trying to see what the different... Yeah, this pattern comes with the thing about Love Notions patterns. She has so many variations in each pattern. It's just ridiculous. You get such good bang for your buck on these. Um, let's see, she's got four body views on this. So, um, I mean, you could easily pick any of these, but I think that the V-neck with the, um, where it's coming up would be gorgeous in a bold print net and would just really be, make, you could definitely make that Cezanne dress with those. All right, looks seven that I have picked out. I have two dresses for this one too. Um, so it's just your standard sheath dress, just a very nice summer dress, something that you could easily put on if you're going out, um, provided we can go out at some point. <laughs> uh, but you know, you can wear it casual with flats or you can dress it up a little bit depending on your surroundings. So I've pulled this dress off J. Crew. totally drawn to it by the color, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I love the eyelet and I love the fact that, you know, obviously you have the bodice or the dress itself lined, but having the sleeve sheer, I just think is gorgeous. This would be beautiful for like a wedding or something like that. Um, but I also pulled this dress off Anthropology, which is the same style dress. Um, it's just a shift dress, uh, but they've got a little bit more of a sleeve and they've used obviously this beautiful uh, Merimekko um, print. Actually, they've done a collaboration with the Merimekko and have some gorgeous stuff at Anthropology right now. Um, but you know, you just really can't go wrong with a nice easy shift dress, especially in the summer when you don't want anything tight around your waist. I think that, um, it's just a great dress to wear just a little bit shorter than normal so you can show that you have shape with your legs if that's something that you like to show off. But it, you know, it hides um, all imperfections in your midsection, <laughs> which I am very appreciative of uh, most times. But the dress that I have pulled for this one is the Cadence dress by, um, obviously by Love Notions. Now this dress, you can do without a waist seam and make it more like a shift dress, or you can add in um, an elastic casing or a drawstring casing if that is something that you actually prefer. So you can really change up the look of this dress just by adding waist definition um, in the, um, with elastic or a drawstring, or you could just leave it straight, which I would probably just leave it straight, to be honest. I have seen, again, so many cute and flattering versions of this dress made up. This is another one I'm really, really excited about making up. Um, I mean, you could just showcase beautiful fabric with this because there's just the two darts, so there's not a lot of breakup in the pattern. Um, there's a couple of different neckline options. I'm really drawn to the scoop neck, but there's, let's see, three sleeve lengths, or three lengths, shirt, knee, and maxi. Um, which of course you could also make it midi if you wanted to. Um, I think if I was going longer than knee length though, I would probably add the waist definition because it would cover up too much of my leg. But it's five sleeves, a tank, a short sleeve, a three quarter, a flare, and a bishop sleeve. So you could also wear this dress in multiple weathers. Um, yeah, and it's got slits on the side of the longer lengths. And this one is meant for wovens. So you would want to use um, maybe something bold like a rayon, a really beautiful rayon, or even linen that has like a fun bold print. Okay, next up, look eight. I had so much fun putting this video together too, by the way. All right, here is another um, anthropology look. Now, I am gonna say, you know, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that all patterns are on sale, 40% off with the exception of the Rhapsody blouse because it was just on sale, but the Rhapsody is my favorite of their pad. It's my, it's one of my top favorite patterns, period. So it had to make an appearance in here. And I'm assuming if you watch me at all and you like the Rhapsody, you've probably bought it when it was on sale last week. So you probably already have it in your arsenal. So I threw it in here. But I think that this top that this gal's got on is a dead ringer for the Rhapsody with obviously the longer um, bishop sleeve. And then, um, and I think this is made in a linen, which would actually be kind of really interesting to make. Um, I've not made that top in a drape or in anything but a drapier fabric, but it might be kind of fun to play around with a real thin um, 
linen, to be honest. Um, actually, I have that apricot linen. Ooh, now my wheels are turning because I love the solid color of this top with um, the shorts. And one of my favorite pairs of shorts that I've recently made, and I made these um, in February before we went to Florida, and it is the uh, summer... Is it key? I think it's pronounced key. It's K or C A Y E. But it's the summer key pants. And this comes in, again, many different variations. They have a long, um, wide leg version. They've got with slits on the side of the pant, or they've got just the straight hem. Um, let's see, wide leg and palazzo widths. And then they've got like a um, one that's more cropped and it has kind of a, a real neat leg detail in the front. And then a couple of, let's see, a six inch short and a nine inch short. Capri and full lengths are included. But it is a flat front short and then it's got the elastic on the back, which I love. So you get the view of it being flat and then, um, but you still have the elastic to help um, keep everything cinched in and keep everything um, just more comfortable, really. I have mentioned it before, I have issues with autoimmune and a lot of times my waist measurement will, will fluctuate rapidly depending on if I'm in a flare up or whatever. But I love a good elastic waistband, <laughs> especially when it's just in the back. And again, I've made these shorts and they're so flattering. They've got almost like the jean style pockets on the front, um, which I think helps break things up and you can put the patch pockets on the back or not. Actually on my shorts, I made them out of a, um, like a bottom weight silk and I did not put the uh, pockets on the back. I wore them a ton when we in Florida and I can't wait to get them back out again. Um, so anyway, those would be perfect in a fun print that you could definitely wear. And they're meant for wovens, but you could definitely wear um, wear those in a fun print and really match this outfit like spot on. All right, look number nine is this. This is also one from Cezanne. Again, it's that same fabric that you saw earlier. And I have, I mean, it's a wide leg pant, flat front pant. I just think it's perfect for that summer key pant again. Um, but I also really love, now I don't wear this type of um, tank top because I you can't wear a bra, I mean you could wear a bra with it, but I don't like my bra straps hanging out. My bra straps are super thick because <laughs> I have a large bra, I have a large cup. Um, so my bra straps are like really thick. So it's not even like I'm wearing the real pretty like lacy dainty bra straps that might be peeking out from my spaghetti tank. <laughs> it's like, Rrr! So I tend to just stick with more of like a tank top style that covers my bra strap as opposed to the spaghetti. However, I do think this looks nice together. So I have paired the summer key pants again with this one because I think the um, longer palazzo version, again, in a very bold and um, fun fabric would be fantastic. And then for a skinny um, spaghetti strap knit tank, I've gone with the Luna loungewear set. I own this pattern, I've made the shorts, and I'm getting ready to make the nightgown, which is spaghetti strap, um, because I need to replace my current nightgowns really badly. But they have a um, spaghetti strap tank that's in here, and they also have a sleeping bra that's in here. And I'm wondering, you could probably use the sleeping bra pattern pieces and just put it inside the tank and have like a built-in bra. Um, Basically, I don't know why that wouldn't work. And I think that, you know, if you are smaller busted and if that can work for you, that'd be a great option. That is not an option for me. But <laughs> if it's an option for you, more power to you. But I think those two paired together, I like the nice uh, fitted top with the looser, flowier pants. And I could totally wear this with just like a tank as opposed to the spaghetti strap. But, um, and I do have a favorite pattern of theirs that is the tank top that I like to make, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Next up, look 10. Oh, and here, we'll talk about it now. <laughs> so this dress here is from J. Crew, and I think this just looks so beautiful in summary. And um, I'm not sure what the back of this looks like, so um, I'm just kind of, you know, you could make it, you know, whatever you wanted, really. But um, I love this dress. So I picked the Summer Basics um, dress and top, let's see, what is it called? Summer basics, I guess just summer basics. So it is a tank top, a maxi dress, dress, and a knee length dress. So I have made the tank top, love the tank top. This is the tank top pattern I keep um, at my cutting table and when I'm cutting out knits, I will cut out tank tops as well with the scraps in addition to underwear. Um, I've not made the dress version yet, but I, I'm gonna. <laughs> because I think that this dress would be fantastic and a midi length to recreate this dress, but it's tiered. So I, you could easily, um, okay, so this dress has, uh, 
kind of a above the waist seam when you make the dress portion. But I think you could use that top piece, but make it super short, like to hit like right at, you know, the crease of your leg or something. And then for the following tiers, just gather rectangles onto it to give it a little bit of, so you'd have no gathering where it attaches to the top, but then you would have the gathering and the tiered kind of peasant look as you would go further down. And that would just need to be um, rectangles that are gathered onto the first piece. Um, and you could hit midi length. I would do three tiers. <laughs> I think that would just be fantastic, especially if you're doing it in like a real bold, again, printed net. And I would also get, I would not make my tiers even. I would make them, you know, smaller, a little bit bigger, and then the biggest, meaning length. Um, that I think proportionally that probably looks the best, but you could totally use this pattern for that and it would be gorgeous. Okay, look 11, and also that pattern is just so good for your uh, just a basic tank top. I highly recommend it. It's my favorite. All right, here is another Bowden dress. This just looks easy breezy summer. It's a faux wrap dress, which you can't go wrong. That looks so flattering on so many body types. You guys know I love a wrap dress, both woven and knit. Um, just really find that to be flattering on um, just a whole bunch of body types. But um, the... Love Notions has the willow wrap dress that really nails this to a T. I mean, it's basically this dress. Um, that comes with a, let's see, five sleeve options. You can do a short sleeve, an elbow sleeve, three quarter, long, or a flutter sleeve. Um, so to look like this dress, you may wanna do um, maybe the flutter sleeve or a shorter sleeve, especially for summer. But if you like longer sleeves on yourself, by all means go for it. I have made this dress, I used the three quarter length sleeve, and it was my Christmas dress this year. Um, it was gorgeous. So <laughs> I really found it very flattering. All right, moving right along. What was that 11? Okay, so just one more look. All right, so for our final look, I have this outfit that is put together that is from Anthropology. Love the top on this. And it's just a woven t-shirt. A woven t-shirt tucked into a pair of elastic waisted um, wide leg capri pants. Now you could totally do the summer key pants again with this, but I decided to think out of the box a little bit on this one. So for the top, I went with the Harmony blouse 100%. I have this all printed out and ready to go and I cannot wait to cut it out um, of some fun rayon actually. I, I think. I need to go through my stash and find something really beautiful, but I think that that just is a great uh, woven t-shirt pattern. It's got the bust, different cup size fronts, and um, it just looks also really great on everyone. It has a million different sleeve variations. Once again, you can go sleeveless. You can do a whole bunch of different sleeve variations. Um, and then for the bottoms, I actually chose the Allegro pants and skirt. Now, this is a thinner legged pant. However, it is super easy to make pants wider legged. Um, I mean, you could go with the summer key pants again because that is a wide leg and you could just crop them off and those would definitely work for this silhouette. But I really like about the Allegros is they have almost a jogger waistband. So they've got the drawstring that goes into the center um, and then the stitch down elastic that goes all the way around the waist, which I just think is kind of a fun look. Now again, the legs are a little bit, um, they're not jogger, but they are a little, uh, it's a slimmer leg. However, if you just take your grain line and go straight down um, the pant and just extend the same amount on each side of that line that you've uh, drawn, because obviously these pants, you know, you could you could keep the length the same because it's kind of a cropped length, length, or just pick where you want <laughs> and then figure out, make a muslin of course, but figure out that you want to add maybe two inches on each side um, and then add the same on the front and the back. Um, most of the time the back pattern piece is bigger anyway which is what you want but that will already be drafted that way so when you're adding the extra two inches on each side there you go and then you make them out of a drapey fabric and you would basically be bang on with these pants. So <laughs> I think that yeah I think I've, I own that pattern as well and I'm excited to make that up and again it's got shorts and it's got skirt patterns and they're for woven fabrics. Um, with elastics so be gorgeous in like a chambray or like a tinsel something with a lot of drape oh just beautiful so anyway there you have it there are 12 current ready to wear looks that you can recreate using love notions patterns so if you haven't already definitely go take a look at that sale that they're having again it's 40 percent off everything except for the rhapsody because the rhapsody just um 
came off sale because they just re-released that one in their extended size range. Now, for the giveaway. <laughs> All you have to do is leave a comment down below on which pattern you would pick. The giveaway is for one free pattern of your choice. And yeah, so just leave in the comment what pattern you don't have to, I mean, my camera turned off on me. So the pattern that you list down below is not necessarily the one that you have to pick. Um, so don't feel like, oh no, that's the one I picked, but I really would want this one. That's fine. You can definitely pick whichever one you want if you win. But yeah, just leave in the comment box below which pattern you would like. That will enter you in the drawing and that's all you have to do. Now, I am not going to be commenting on any of the comments, so don't ask me any questions on this video. <laughs> and um, because I that messes up my um, count when I am trying to do a random number generator. So I will like your comment that you leave, but I'm not going to be actually responding back to you because then that throws it into the actual comments and it throws it all off. So don't ask me any questions in this video. <laughs> you can do it in the last, you know, next video or the previous video or whatever. Most of the time questions are, are absolutely fine, but for this video I'm going to not be answering any questions, but I'll just be liking um, those posts. And this um, will be up for a week. So I will have this on until um, next Tuesday and I will announce the winner next Tuesday. So this um, giveaway is good from today, which is you're watching this Tuesday, May 5th, through Tuesday, May 11th, and actually through Monday, May 10th. I will cut it off on Monday. Hold on, I'm thinking all this through. I film on Monday. Okay. So this contest is good. Could I be any more confusing? From today, May 5th, 2020, through Sunday, May 9th, at midnight Eastern Standard Time, 2020. Um, because then that gives me a chance to, to pick the winner on Monday and film that, and then uh, get that out to you on Tuesday. So that makes better sense. So this contest is running from Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, through Sunday, May 9th, 2020. Is that right? Is it May 9th? Is that? Hold on. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 10th. May 10th. Oh, I'm sorry. Sunday, May 10th, <laughs> 2020, which is Mother's Day here in the U.S. Um, and that's when I will at midnight on May 10th, which is a Sunday, and that's actually the last day of the sale. Um, I will close the giveaway at that point and draw a winner Monday morning. Um, and then I will let you all know who won on Tuesday. So um, yeah, be sure and enter that, get a free pattern and uh, that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. If you're watching the daily vlogs, I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you on Friday and I'm gonna be talking all about my new Cielo um, pattern or my Cielo collection that I have recently created with the Cielo dress and top from Closet Case Patterns. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you then. Bye.